dear learners, to the second part of the video on the unit Industrial Relations. My name is Chainika Senapati and I am from the discipline of Management, Maniram Devan School of Management. So in this part, uh, we'll discuss uh, some of the approaches to industrial relations and the measures to improve industrial relations. Let us now discuss the approaches to industrial relations. Here is a chart that you can see that this is showing the three popular approaches to industrial relations. Firstly, the unitary approach. Secondly, the pluralistic approach. And thirdly, the Marxist approach. Let us now discuss about the first approach that is unitary approach. So in unitary approach, the organization is taken as an integrated and harmonious system. A core assumption of unitary approach is that management and workers and all the members of the organization share the same objectives, share the same interests and purposes and thus working together hand in hand towards the shared mutual goals of the organization. In this approach, the union cooperates with the management and works for a common goal. The assumption of this approach is that everyone benefits when the focus is on one or common interest. Let us now discuss the pluralistic approach. In this approach, uh, this is somehow opposite to the unitary approach. Uh, in pluralism approach, uh, we sometimes call it pluralism approach also, the organization is divided in subgroups uh, like management and trade unions. And in this approach, the conflict between the managers and the workers over the distribution of profits is sometime unavoidable and the union plays an important role in this approach. The employees join the union to you know, protect their interest and influence the decision making by the management. The trade unions are viewed as a leg uh, legitimate representatives of the employees and conflict is dealt by the collective bargaining and uh, sometimes industrial tribunals or conciliation or arbitration. Let us now discuss about the Marxist approach. According to this uh, approach, the conflict in an organization arises not because of the employees and the employer. The conflict takes place due to the division in the society between the capital that is uh, with those who own the resources and the labor that is who has only the labor to offer. So the conflict is therefore seen as an inevitable and uh, the trade unions are a natural re response for of workers you know, to their exploitation by capital. Now let us discuss some of the measures to improve industrial relation. There are many measures that should be taken uh, to achieve good industrial relations by the employers. Uh, there should be strong, stable and right kind of union in the organization or in an industry. So the right kind of union uh, in each uh, industry or industrial enterprise is essential for good industrial relation as I have said. And if there is a weak union, then the management will take advantage of the workers. The agreement with weak union will you know, hardly be honored by a large section of workforce and uh, therefore there must be a strong and stable and right type of union in every organization or in every industry to represent the majority of the workers and negotiate with the management about the terms and conditions of services. There should be mutual trust. There should be an atmosphere of mutual cooperation or confidence and respect between the management and the workers. This is very much essential and the management should adopt a progressive outlook and should recognize the rights of the workers. So similarly, uh, labor unions also should motivate their members uh, to work for a common objective to achieve the objective of the organization. There should be workers participation in management. So the workers should be uh, given the participation in the decision making at all levels of management, uh, maybe top level management or middle level or lower level. And this can be done by making effective use of works committee or joint consultation and other methods. So this will workers participation management will definitely improve the communication between the managers and the workers and this will lead to increase in the productivity and also it will lead to the greater effectiveness. Again to improve the industrial relation in an organization there should be mutual adjustments. In any industry or any organization there must be mutual adjustment or you can say understanding rather than conflict or disputes. The approach must be 
uh, in an organization the approach must be of mutual you know give and take rather than take or leave uh, the management should be willing to cooperate rather than to exploit the workers there should be sound personal policies in an organization the personal policy should be uh, you know the personal manager should confirm that the workers understand and agree the policies made by the management the policy must be clear and that the implementation of the policy should be uniform throughout the organization uh, this is to ensure that a fair treatment is given to each worker in the organization so there should be a good and sound personal policy in the organization so lastly the government has a major role to play the government should play an important role you know for promoting industrial peace in an organization it should make law for uh, you know the compulsory recognition of the representative union in each industrial unit and uh, it should interfere to settle disputes if any uh, if the management and the workers are unable to settle their disputes internally then the government should interfere and uh, this will lead to improved industrial relation in an organization so dear learners with this we have uh, come to the end of the second part of the video on industrial relations so what we have discussed in both the videos are that we discuss about the concept the meaning of industrial relations we also discuss about the importance the objectives of industrial relations we also uh, discuss about the three approaches of industrial relations and finally we discuss about the measures how we can improve the industrial relation in an organization so dear learners thank you so much for watching this video and we'll come up with different more videos on the concepts different concepts related to human resource management thank you